Good morning. It is uh, Friday, February 3rd, 2012. And uh, today I want to talk about the Mancombe Blind Channel. And the reason I want to talk about the Mancombe Blind Channel is because it's a very exciting time for this area. It's herring season. The herring, uh, they showed up, the first spawn showed up about three days ago over at the uh, west side of the Squamish terminals and a little bit along the uh, south leading edge. And actually, you can see down there that there's a feeding frenzy going on. The birds have shown up. They know that there's some herring spawn going on over there and they are having some lunch. It spawned, uh, the spawned all the way along the, uh, the southern edge of the Squamish terminals and along the west shore. Now the Malcolm Blind Channel, if you have a look at it today, you'll, you'll notice the Malcolm Blind Channel has these very straight lines. These are all very man-made lines. It never used to look this way but 100 years ago. 100 years ago, if you're looking at this, you would see these gentle slopes on either side of this uh, body of water, and there'd be eelgrass uh, in those uh, slopes, bladder kelp, and the herring would come in and they'd spawn all over on this. But one of the first big dredging operations in the 50s, they decided they wanted to build a uh, small boat harbor in Squamish. So they dredged the Macomb Blind Channel from the entrance all the way up, made these straight lines as you can see on either side, all the way up to the little boat harbor. So of course the herring, they, they just come back and do their thing. They come back, they want to spawn again, but they come back and there's nothing left. It's all been dredged away. So what they did was they started to spawn on the uh, creosote pilings of the uh, small boat harbor. And there was actually uh, a record uh, of the early uh, fisheries records in Squamish, and there's an account of uh, how many herring eggs were dying on these uh, creosote pilings. Actually, in 1963, when the sawmill came in, there was also an account in the newspaper of this huge 1963 herring kill. All up and down both sides of the Malcolm Blind Channel, there was dead herring littered on both sides of the beach. The good news is the herring have started to come back. They all but virtually disappeared by the time the 70s showed up. And in the last uh, half a dozen years or so, we've, we've been seeing the herring coming back. Last year, they spawned on both sides of the Squamish terminals, all the way around the ocean front, on both sides of the shoreline, all the way up the Malcolm Blind Channel to where the Red Bridge is. That's what they used to call it in the old days, you call it the Red Bridge, but it's uh, the Highway 99 Bridge is what we refer to it today. The herring also spawned all the way along the shoreline to Shannon Falls. And on the other side of uh, Howe Sound, I picked up the herring spawn. Uh, it started about here. It was a light spawn, but fairly consistent. And it went all the way along the shoreline where the bladder kelp uh, zone is. All the way past wood fiber, actually. The wood fiber is kind of interesting because, uh, you know, they've, they've ceased their operations over there and as a pulp mill. And what they've left behind is actually, uh, approximately I counted 2,000 creosote pilings over there. So really part of the cleanup operation of that old industrial site should be the removal of all those uh, creosote pilings. So it's a beautiful day up here on the Chief. And it's herring season and it's just started. So let's wish them luck. And you guys have a good day. Thanks for listening to me.